be a little bit challenging to know where to start. How do I practically get to know myself better? How do I understand who I am in a way that actually helps me feel more authentic, um, allows me to feel like I'm acting in alignment with what's most important to me? How do I discover my blind spots and start to uncover the things that I didn't know about myself? So this talk will begin to unpack a lot of that in a very um, practical, interactive way. So I'm a certified transformational life coach, and I essentially help my clients to bridge the gap between where they are today and where they'd like to be. Uh, one of the little mini warm-ups that I do at the beginning of this, just to kind of dip our toes into self-awareness. Um, and this is a question I tend to ask myself on a daily basis, because I think it's so important, but how do I feel today? Um, I think we forget to answer that question. Sometimes we get the question from other people where they say, you know, how are you? And then we say, great, fine, good. How are you? But we don't tend to necessarily answer that question in the most honest way. And the, the best way to be more honest about that question is, is just asking that question to yourself. How do I feel today? Um, and I think the follow-up question to that that's so important is, how do I want to feel today? So if you start your day off feeling maybe really tense, maybe a little bit anxious, um, you can ask yourself, okay, ultimately, what's the goal here? How do I want to like leave this day feeling? Maybe that's calm. Maybe that's accomplished. Maybe that's anchored and really grounded and you might find yourself at a point in your life where you feel really great and that may be a reflection of the fact that you're living in total alignment with your with your values and the word that comes up for me as i say this is authenticity and i think that living in alignment with your values means that you're being your truest most authentic self friend look like we can ask ourselves what are our fundamental values and how can I live in accordance with those values? Reconnect back with myself. Are you familiar with the Wheel of Life? Um, it's a tool that I really love as like a jumping off point with a lot of my one-to-one um, -one clients, really helpful for goal setting and planning for the future life. And then you give each section a ranking between one and 10, 10 being the highest and um, explain a little bit about why you might feel that it's a particular number. And I encourage people to be really honest about their numbers and almost maybe slightly extreme with their answers, like being really honest with themselves so that everything's not maybe like a five, six, like what's really going well, what's, and, and really celebrating the wins and what's, where is there really just not a lot of your attention right now? And it's used to develop um, an increased self-awareness. Um, well, it's it used to in increase your awareness of your emotional and physical relationship with yourself and others. Cool. And the Johari window breaks into four quadrants um, and it looks at all the different parts of ourselves. So there's um, what we call the arena, which is things that you know about yourself and that everyone else knows about you. So for and then there's the parts of ourselves that we know about ourselves, but that are not known to others. And then there's blind spots. So what are things that you don't know about yourself, but that others know about you? And again, this can be very helpful in the workplace because, but also in every relationship where we don't necessarily realize that Maybe we come across as kind of aggressive in certain situations, but we think that we're just being like excited about something, but it comes off in a way that people are seeing it in a way that we didn't mean it or that we are not aware of. Um, but then there's the last quadrant, which is the unknown self. Um, and people might think that this is just like a throwaway quadrant, but it's actually really important. It's the things that you don't know about yourself and that others don't know about you either. Um, and it's actually a really exciting opportunity to experiment and get to know things that you don't even know about yourself and that no one else knows either.